to be international refs, so don't believe everything you read in the papers. Saints control the tap. Marshall, uh, just to uh, set the record straight, I thought there was a bit more noise in here that, co that coming from three and a half people, so I went out and had a count up, and I lost track after, <laughs> after three and a half thousand. Oh, no! McFadden starts it like he'd like to end it. McFadden hits a three-pointer to open up the ball game. Look at this. I mean, as you say, this is what you dream about in bed at night. Oh, wow. And North Shore going against a hard, tough man-to-man. -man. Mitchell steps inside the three-point line, puts it up and misses. The ball knocked out of bounds by Truth North Shore. Interesting matchup. Tony Webster marking Kenny McFadden and vice versa. Okay, now it's very important that the Saints don't get, oh, here we go, a big early lead. Truth have to hang in there. All court pressed by the Saints, very smart. Oh, there's, there's that bomb from the Jazz man, but it's pressure from the Saints. This is what they did against, um, can't even remember who they New played Plymouth, last Marshall, night. New Plymouth, Marshall, New Plymouth. New Plymouth last night, and then they stopped doing it. And a ball out of bounds, out front, Mitchell, hassled by Wanera. Lamar Jackson, last night's player of the match, hits it. There was a lot of pressure on Jackson, a lot of, well, the whole place knew that North Shore had to get a bucket, and Lamar says, give me the ball. Both teams playing man-to-man. -man. There's Kenny Boagney from the baseline. He misses. Good Here rebound. Here comes Webster. Webster. It's a two-on-one. He'll feed it off behind his, oh, silly. Mitchell had the bucket, and he tried to pass it back. And they'll get burned up the other end. There's McFadden. He'll put it down. Thank you very much. That was a four-point mistake by David Mitchell. Mitchell overpassing. Seven to two, the score. The Saints in front. Everybody's expecting this, but don't give up hope. North Shore came back last night and upset. They actually stunned New Plymouth. There's Webster. Took him a while to warm up last night. It might do tonight, too, but he'll be in double figures very shortly. There he goes. Fakes McFadden. Gets a bit of room, puts it up and in. Ah, Saints turnover. North Shore get the ball. They're down by two, seven to five. And they've eased off on the press already. Normal man-to-man -man D being played by the Saints. Here's Webster up from a long way. Bad shot. Here comes the fast break. Wanera in, goes around. Oh, he missed the layup. Once again, Bob, leaving your feet early, one-handed Scooby-Doo's. Who needs him? He walked. Well, a couple of turnovers here. Manners, end of the game. A bit of uh, aggression here. Both teams quite keyed up. It's the whole season riding on this final game. Is it working? Is that one going on? Okay? 1988, wrapped up into 40 minutes of basketball. Let's on the sideline again. Let's see the rest. The court is not working at the moment. You'll hear all this buzzing. They're going to have to keep their eye on one clock. No, both clocks are working. I couldn't understand that. Maybe there's something halfway. The Where's the steal? Here comes the ball. Down, he's lost it. Back the other way, folks. Up goes Boagney. Off the board, Polkai on the rebound. Madison is back. Rebound, North Shore. Stu Manners doing a good job coming over the back of Peter Polkai to get that rebound. 16-50 left in the first half. Shore down by two points. All right, now that's another mistake from Webster. There's no need. What they want to do is slow the game down by shooting from 25 feet and missing or getting it stolen. You're just playing into the hands of the Saints, Tony Webster. Tokai scores. He shoves the score to 9-5. To Webster marked by McFadden out front. Mark Graham with the ball. Good top man-to-man -man defense being played by both teams. Webster! Nice, nice pass from Graham. Good move. Good weak side backdoor move then. And a nice pass from Mark Graham. He delivered the bacon. Good move. Two points. That's what they need. That takes an offense to run that. Anybody can throw it from 30 feet. Well, Marshall, another tribute to the coach. 15-50 left in the first half. 9-7. Saints by two. They got off to a quick lead here. Shore cut it back. There's Lamar Jackson. Oh, he... what drive wasn't? Oh, great tap. Hard luck. Goodness, 
football chase hands three times and they're reaching in almost a foul on tony webster but it's two on one you can't out it is that the saints are getting the ball up fast they are making the openings eventually it'll pay in a rush all right it won't just be shots like that it'll be shots off the fast break so it's very important for truth to take high percentage shots Pokai just scored for Saints. Now there's one of the best acquisitions in the offseason of any team, anywhere. Peter Pokai went to the Saints. Boy, he's given them a solid inside game. Mark Graham, that's a 25-footer. Graham played a great game last night. Oh, McFadden stops on a dime. McFadden comes down. There's, there's a great shot from Mark Graham. Webster for the shore, bringing it up against McFadden. Jackson way out wide. He's marked by Pokai. Both teams good playing man-to-man -man defense. Webster oh, double pumps. Wow, 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 was that great. He had no shot then. He had to float in the air. There goes Boagney. He's hit from behind by Lamar. Smart, you put the pressure on early, especially if you're the favorite. Mark Graham calmly from the side throws an air ball and Lamar Jackson gathers in the rebound only to be butchered by Rick Winera, number six. That's the sort of shots that they have to shoot, though. They have to take high percentage shots. This is good offense. You move the ball down, right? There's, there's the shot. Actually, it was a bad, terrible shot. Bad shot selection. And Pokai coming high, picking Webster. McFadden can't use the pick, however, ran out of room. David Mason in, in the game for the Saints. Pokai and Manners are banging bodies in there. Good blow. McFadden's shot blocked nicely by Webster. Webster's got a thigh injury. And that the reach again. Him. Foul on Kenny McFadden. How many times? Listen to the crowd. I tell you, there's not many here for Saints. That's foul number two, and people know it. If he gets a third, he'll have to ride the reef. They're on the wrong angle. They're going to call it. Oh, great rebound. Great rebound by Tony Webster, right in the middle of the Saints. Well, I'm telling you, Marshall, the North Shore team's beginning to make believers of a lot of people here. They're playing a good game again. They're really fired up. And they're doing it on their offensive board. Now, the Saints have so much size and power underneath, they shouldn't be giving up that second shot. What a muscle shot from Pokai, though. Gee. <laughs> it's a great basketball that's uh, being played here already. Ewan's in the game, Ewan Lockhart. Here's Play. Marshall's new Mr. Slick, number five, Ewan Lockhart. <laughs> He's good. Webster throws a three and a half pointer, it's there. <laughs> well, there's no defense in the world against that. I don't think it's good shot selection, but when it goes in, it's three points. When you're hot and it drops, you can't argue with it. Mason, time, he puts it in the air, no good. And Graham, boxing off Boagney, knocks the ball off to Ewan Lockhart. There's a the big shot. Webster puts it up. It's there. That's two three-pointers. What a bomb, eh? Now, let's see them work. They've got a great offense, North Shore. There's Ewan Lockhart, steadies himself, and sweep. Lockhart's confidence grows game by game. Oh, hey, something should have been called there. McFadden is very angry. Webster puts it down. McFadden will come back. Oh, great pass to Pokai. 20 to 17, Shore with a lead by up by three now. Mason collects an easy rebound and puts it back up. Terrible shot from Mason. I don't he didn't even have a target. Okay, here we go. Now watch this steal. Here comes the steal. That's reaching in. That's shoving off. There were fouls on both sides there. Or I guess the ref decided it was even up and didn't blow it. Meanwhile, Lamar Jackson off the glass. And down it goes. Holy smoke. 22-19, North Shore by three. This is exactly what the spectators wanted. I mean, everybody knows that the Saints are an explosive team that probably even in this game, the way it's going now, will still explode and win it. Full court press, Bob, and it looks like a good one. Yes. Oh, yes, it's forced to, forced to turnover. Good press by the Saints. I don't know why they, why they don't stay on that press. They might be calling and they might be putting the press on every time they score, Marshall. We'll check it. 
But in the meantime, they've gotten the ball out of this one. They're down one point. That was a crucial turnover. Come, come on, Martell, will you? Well, come on, Martell. it's crucial in that your guard line starts to worry, all right? If the all-court is going go? on, there's a set okay. way that you have to solve an all-court press. As soon as you see which okay, press go. it is, and there's quite a variety of them, then there's a set way to solve it. But it takes five players to react. McFadden with the ball out front. Pokai, nowhere to go. Boagney screaming for the ball. Oh, great, great pass to Dave Mason. Good pass to, but Boagney really wants the ball at the moment. The Jazz man was leading for the ball. And that puts the Saints back in the lead, a seesaw game. 